Hi guys, welcome to this Peggy Bundy look. <laughs> I am using Sunkissed Palette by Sistar Cosmetics. Only reason I'm giggling is because I've been asked to do this makeup look for so long, so here it is finally. I started off with a shimmering gold color on the lid. You can keep it matte, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of matte looks lately, so I didn't want to do that. I apologize if you hear car honking. I live on the first floor, so it is what it is. Then you want to take a light brown caramel color, like so, and place this in the crease of your eyelids in a V-like shape. Then I'm gonna take this dark purpley brown eyeshadow here, make sure that this eyeshadow is matte, kind of create a cut crease kind of look right there with a thinner brush, and then take another full brush and kind of place that on the outer corner. I absolutely love this look. I think it came out super flawless and I'm really happy with it. I think it's a really easy Halloween look if you're stumped and have nothing to wear and you have a cheetah print blouse or something and just buy a red wig and some chunky jewelry. It's like super inexpensive. I spent like $6 on the cheetah print top and the wig is like $20 on Amazon. So that's like a $30 costume, especially if you have stuff at home or you can find this wig in stores for maybe $10, you never know. So as you can see, I'm just layering these eyeshadows. I think I just used this palette only, honestly. And I think what makes this look pop in a little bit is I'm going to just be touching up certain areas. As you can see, I'm using the Wonder Cloud by Rimmel, and this is what makes the look really come together, is I did use that gold eyeshadow, but I really wanted more of a cut crease, so that's why I placed that liquid shadow on top of that gold one so it could look more matte and just kind of bring it more to life. With the cut crease, it does look more like Peggy. She did wear a lot of makeup. So then I'm taking a white eyeliner because I felt like she did have some there. I felt like that was a big trend back then. So then I'm taking the darker brown as well and placing that under that white eyeliner. And that's what's gonna really give off the Peggy Bundy look. I think I was waiting for my camera to focus. I don't know why I didn't cut that out. Now I am taking a liquid eyeliner and creating a thick cat, well, cat eye. I couldn't think if I was gonna say cat line or cat eye. But yeah, this is what we're doing right here. So once you do your giant cat eye, you are just going to want to use a mag, well this is, I. you can put any lashes on, but I'm using magnetic lashes because I feel like I've been obsessed with them lately. So this is magnetic uh, eyeliner and I'm just going to coat my lashes first before I put the magnetic lashes on. I get my magnetic lashes from Visily Lashes and they're just an Amazon store. So that is the coolest part about it and you can readjust and you never mess up your makeup. So that's why I like magnetic lashes. I just go for like a flared cat-like eyelashes like these because I felt like these were very Peggy Bundy. So I'm just going to stick those on, super easy. Then I'm gonna wipe my bake off. Guys, I didn't show my face makeup because it's always the same. So just use a really bright pink blush. Well, more of it with a red undertone more than pink. And we're basically almost done here. But of course, this couldn't be Peggy Bundy without a little bit of highlight and the iconic red lip. I'm using Cherry by MAC. This is my favorite red lip liner. You don't have to use MAC. Uh, they have lots of great drugstore ones. NYX has some good red lip liners, but MAC is my favorite. And then I'm also going to take Ruby Woo. Now this is the perfect Peggy Bundy color, and you can also mix it with Russian Red, which is personally my favorite lip combo for a red lip, and my favorite red lipstick from MAC as well. But basically, you are done. It is a super easy look, very achievable. You could wear this to work too if you have to work like on a Halloween party or something. I don't know, there's a lot of parties on Friday. And if you don't have time to do your makeup, you could always wear this to work at first with like a nude lip. Then after work, you could just put a red lipstick on. It's super easy. Put on some chunky red jewelry like these earrings and the red pearl necklace. And then put on a cheetah print blouse Get yourself a crazy red beehive wig and you are Peggy Bundy. It's pretty iconic and everyone will know who you are. Well, I think so. I don't know, the generation changes, but e either way, it's still a cute look even if people don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which sitcom lady you'd like to see next and I will get to work on that. 
I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Love you. Bye.